Gabriella, thank you again for joining me today. So as in the previous video, I went over about healthy energy exchanges and also setting healthy clear boundaries as well. So today I want to share with you an EFT tapping round on setting healthy boundaries or definitely building up your confidence to, to make a start at setting those healthy boundaries anyway. So I think it's probably best to really explain what a healthy exchange and healthy energy exchange really is. I mean, it, it's not as if none of you know if this is either just clarifying to yourselves what it is or just reminding you what it is because that's, that's the beauty of all of us. You know, we, we all have got so much information inside of us and very often we just need somebody to remind us of things that we already know so I'm not here claiming that I have all the answers because I really don't I'm learning every day every day I learn something new I just want to share with you my experience I just want to share with you my wisdom because if anything I say does resonate or does get you remembering things about yourself or understanding yourself in a better way or giving yourself confidence to live a, a happier and healthier life then my, my job is done so if we think about say two people we've got a tea drinker and a coffee drinker and they're both really enjoying their experiences. The coffee drinker is enjoying the experience of being a coffee drinker and the tea drinker is enjoying the experience of being a, a tea drinker. And when they both come together, they're both very happy, they're both very at peace that they're both having different experiences. And, you know, very likely they may be discussing their the experiences that they're having with one another as well. So there's no triggers there, there's no animosity, there's no lines being crossed, everything's in peace. But say if that coffee drinker was somebody who thought everybody should drink coffee and was a very dominant force, and perhaps the tea drinker was somebody who was more passive, then we may get a little bit of a, a messy energy exchange there. We may have the tea drinker actually going ahead and drinking coffee in the presence of the coffee drinker because they do not want to cause any upset. They do not want to you know, upset the coffee drinker, but then we've got the tea drinker disempowering themselves. We've also got the tea drinker not living in their, their truth, not living in their um, true self. They're not speaking their truth. They're allowing somebody else to dictate to them how to live their life. So that would not be a, a healthy energy exchange because we've got a lot of you know messy energy going on we've also got a lot of distortion and a lot of untruths going on as well so what we really want is for everybody to embrace each other's differences to understand that we're all put on this earth to have different experiences to see things in different ways and that's what's so amazing about this earth, the diversity, the richness of, you know, the fact that everything is different. We, we're, all, we're all expressing ourselves in different ways. And if we can learn from each other's expressions, if we can learn from each other's differences and embrace those differences, can you imagine just how, how much more beautiful this world would be? So it's all about respecting each other and respecting each other's differences and trying to understand each other as well. You know, we're, we're not put on this earth to all go in the same 
direction. We're not put on this earth to be sheep. We're, we're put on this earth to experience life to the fullest in our own way. And if that means that one person is a tea drinker and one person is a coffee drinker, then so be it, you know, it, it's all good. There's no harm in that whatsoever. If it's triggering you in any way, then you need to go a little bit deeper and figure out why, you know, why are you so triggered that, that somebody else is living a different life? Why is you so triggered that somebody is seeing life in a different way and experiencing life in a different way? Why are you not happy for that other person? So today's um, EFT tapping around on boundaries is really for these people um, like myself who are in a place of finding it quite hard to come forward and speak your truth and make it clear to other people or a certain person that you're not happy with a behaviour, you're not happy with a certain thing and really just expressing your truth, just saying to them you know what you are happy with and, and what you're not because you're entitled to do so and a lot of fears come forward because of this especially in the past if you have tried to voice your opinion if you have tried to make it clear to that person but you've been met with anger and you are somebody who who likes to keep the peace who who likes everything even and calm then this can be very disheartening then you you may just you know put up with certain things just to try and keep the peace but i think it's really important that all of us are able to to voice you know how we feel to be able to speak our truth so i'm going to go through this eft tapping round with you i hope it helps to build up your confidence please use it for a few days or at least even a week until your confidence is boosted up and then you can you know go off and have that conversation with the those people or that certain person and then if they are still um, stepping all over your boundaries and not respecting you then maybe come back into yourself and and ask those deeper questions you know how can you make life better you know maybe it's all about distancing yourself from from those people or that person for a while or, or maybe even just completely walking away so as always it's a really good idea to make sure that you are fully hydrated so if you haven't had a drink yet or you haven't got any water at hand then please pause this video go and get yourself a nice glass of water and then we can begin so taking full responsibility for yourself and for your well-being. Even though I am having difficulties setting clear, healthy boundaries, and even though I sh it's, a, it's a real struggle for me setting healthy, clear boundaries, I still completely love and accept myself. I worry about setting boundaries. I worry how it will be received. The idea of setting boundaries really stresses me out. I'm aware I really probably should be setting healthy boundaries. But I get all these fears. I get all these worries about how I will be received. What if that other person gets angry with me? What if they don't like me? What if they don't want to be with me anymore? What if I get it wrong? The reactions of other people really bothers me. But I'm going to be open to being more authentic anyway. I'm going to start to put my needs first. I'm going to start to honour how I really feel. I'm willing to start setting clear, healthy boundaries. I'm going to start trusting in my own feelings. 
I'm excited about stepping into a more authentic me. I'm really excited to be able to start speaking my truth. I'm ready to let go of the fear and I'm ready to let go of any fear of change. I'm ready now to start setting clear, healthy boundaries. I'm ready now to make it clear to others where my boundaries lie. And I'm ready to let go of any relationships that are not respecting my boundaries. And I'm ready to make space for healthier relationships with people who are going to respect me and people that are going to respect my boundaries. I'm ready to start living a life of truth. I'm ready to start living my truth. I'm ready to start speaking my truth. I'm ready now to express myself in healthy ways, in mind, body and spirit. Peace. So I really hope this is going to help you. If you do need any further help or assistance or any guidance about setting healthy boundaries or approaching people about setting clear healthy boundaries, then I will be more than happy to help you. So please do reach out to me. So as always, I'm sending you all my love. I'm wishing you all the very, very best. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Goodbye for now.